the man whom he had formed. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. See, there was instruction for the man to work. Work didn't start as a result of the fall. Yeah. Work is one of the greatest blessings of God to us to convert the energy we get in relationship with God to physical products. One, uh, work is one of the, you know, the only way, really, because, you know, to convert either physical, through physical work, through spiritual work, mental work, but work is the most potent means of conversion. It could be mental work, it could be uh, physical work, it could be spiritual work, but work is the greatest instrument that we have to convert. So that's why the kingdom of God suffers violence. You need to work hard. You need to be a hard worker. And because only the violence will take it, the kingdom. After God blessed Adam, he placed him in the place where he should convert the blessings to material blessings. That's in the Garden of Eden. Going to church does not worth it if messages don't convert to value. The ult ultimate goal is conversion. If you hear any message and that message is coming from God, it's supposed to be converted to product. And that's how we know that you went to church. If you are not converting anything to product, you are, doing, you are practicing religion. If we are not seeing your product from the church you are going to, it's a waste of time and a waste of life. Matthew chapter 6, verse 10. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Everything you learn, everything you hear, everything that comes to your mind, everything you study, should all be, you should all be asking your question, how can I make this bring his kingdom? How can I know him? Because seek you first the kingdom. So how can this help me to know him better? How can this help me to come closer to him? How can this help me to seek him? It's both him and his dominion and his expansion on the earth. The kingdom of God has to be converted to physical manifestation. So that is why we have the earth. If God himself had not started the process of conversion, we don't have the earth. God was there, he was okay. But the reason why we are the earth is because he did conversion. And we are here to represent him and duplicate him and continue what he has started. So that's why we should be the greatest inventors and innovators. We should be the ones doing all the research and multiplying, revealing more of God and his glory and his qualities. Anointing must be converted to physical blessings. Yep. Just if, you, if you say anointing, you know, it's annoying when you keep on making people fall down like people do. And then the ones who really need anything, you are not letting them even come close. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's fun. If you really have anointing, you get, let's see the result. Anointing must produce result. If it's not producing result, you don't have it. And like the sister said the other day, we have not been praying or singing or doing anything of that here. But you have been... You know, we are seeing the products, all right? Some of you are writing ideas and just by teaching. Yeah. That's anointing helping yeah. you together. Yeah, anointing must be converted. Knowledge must be converted into skills. Knowledge must be, any knowledge must be converted into skills. Any knowledge. So you ask yourself, this knowledge that I'm getting, how am I going to convert it? And that's why you need solitude when you get back home. So that you will listen over and over till it becomes flesh in you. And then you ask yourself the question, how, will, how am I planning to convert this? Skills must be converted to economic opportunities or capital. If you have skills, what are the products that you are produced or you are producing? What are the value chains that you are producing? What are the income? What are the capital that it has generated for you? You, you have skills, okay. What are the values? It might not even be capital, but what are the values? What are the products? What are the services that have come out of that skill? Just like Shioma was saying today, we shouldn't leave all this battle to Mayowa because Mayowa is converting herself to deliverance of many people. So why should you just say, okay, Mayowa should take it over? All of us should do it. So we are converting ourselves, our knowledge. The knowledge you have, let me see the product. 
And my worst product is not just our videos, it's the people yeah. that have been delivered, lives that have been changed. Okay? Influence and relationships must be converted to favor or services for human value. If you have influence over people, you know, it, that must be directed either to, you know, bless them, to give them something, to help them become better people, to add value to them, or to add value to you, or to produce some goods and services as a result that will become value chain or capital for you. Relationship should, you add, should be either you are adding to people, producing uh, values in them, or they are adding to you. Or you, they are helping you, that relationship is helping you to create value chain or capital or skills or products that will later result to something, either to services or goods or capital or something. I you follow you. Human capital must be converted to capital through added value, knowledge, skills, and products. Yeah, human capital, uh, human capital must be converted.